Sorry, no one is available at the phone. Please leave a message after the beep. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Lucid here, and today I'm bringing you a new video series called Lucid the Investigator. And I have a very special guest for you guys today. Why don't you say hi? What's up? Yeah, so I have fucking Saison13 here with me. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely how my name is on my channel. It's like YouTube <laughs> slash fucking Saison13. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, how'd you get started with this whole YouTube business? Well, not business, uh, but whole thing. I was just bored. I mean, I, I, it started from... I used to record uh, gameplay on handy cams. Yeah, I was one of those guys. And I'd, I'd record just, like, glitches and weird stuff that happened. And then I eventually was like, you know what, why don't I just upload them to YouTube? And I started, it was on a different channel. And then eventually I got more serious about it. I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to start a new channel, and I'm going to get a recording device. And I wanted to go straight for HTTP VR instead of Dazzle and any of that stuff. So it took me a little while, but once I saved up, then I went for it and... The rest is history. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So yeah, which which of your videos do you think you like the most? Oh, I don't know. The, the videos that I tend to like the most are the ones more thanking my sub base just because they remind me how I started, who got me where, you know, things like that. Uh, I, I, I'm more about the interacting with people and... Uh, being thankful towards everybody who supports me and things of that nature. So it, uh, those videos, I guess, are the ones that are more meaningful to me than all the rest. I mean, I, I know more of my sub base likes the season shorts or squeaks of the week, and you know, those are all fine and dandy, and I love them too. But it, I, I tend to to like the ones that are more just personal talking time, where I'm I'm just thanking individuals and you know, my, talking to my sub base more, interacting with them. So, um, how did you get into gaming? Uh, I think it was just thrown in front of me, if I remember correctly. I mean, well, I was I was little, and all of a sudden an Atari 2600 showed up, and I'm like, wait, what is this? What is this <laughs> box of magic? And I I played uh, all kinds of games with my brothers and just whooped the living crap out of them, and I don't know, it just kind of stuck with me. All of a sudden, the uh, next thing you know, the Nintendo's out and going to arcades and popping all the quarters I possibly can into machines and I don't know it's just it, it was kind of I kind of grew up with the I don't know the the birth of it wasn't the birth of video games but it was like it's peak like when it when it first started or when it started to peak the the initial growth of popularity I kind of grew with it so I, I was seeing it more and more it was more acceptable seeing commercials and it I don't know it was just kind of everywhere at the time so, would you say that Atari is your favorite gaming console? Oh, I don't know about that one. The Atari was amazing, but it was it was really limited. Like, it was really basic, and it was good for short bursts, but I never really found myself, like, stuck stuck to it. It was more of a casual uh, experience. I did, I did play the crap out of it, but I think more the, uh, oh, man, it's, it's such a toss-up. Like, the original NES is probably what I'd have to pick. Uh, Super NES and Genesis were amazing in their own right, but the original Nintendo was just, oh my god. (laughs) It's just so much variety and just so many games that just revolutionized uh, gaming as we know it now. So, what game would you say is your favorite or one of your tops? Well, yeah. There's a ton. I think, I don't know, like, on the Super NES, I was always obsessed with Chrono Trigger. I think that's one that has always stuck as being definitely one of my favorites. Uh, I always loved GoldenEye on the 64. That was amazing. Uh, anything on the the old ice hockey game on Nintendo or, you know, the old Mario's. and I don't know. It's just there's so much to pick from that I just... Rad Racer, that was another one that was, oh, epic. Looks so horrible, but it played so well. <laughs> played so well. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Like it, it's so hard with me. It's just like movies and music. I can never pick a favorite. It's just there's so many that are just memorable and 
it, it, a lot of them are hard to compare to uh, each other as well. Like I, I, I have a hard time comparing shooters to RPGs and sports games. To, you know, it's just like they're with different genres. Like I can only compare them so much. So with favorites, I think it makes it hard because I have such a vast uh, amount of games out there that I that I played different categories, and it's it's hard to hard to pick one, man. <laughs> so you've been making a lot of comedic videos. So like, what got you into making like funny videos instead of like more serious about like gameplay videos? Uh, I don't know. I, I think. Like when I when I used to do the radio and uh, things of that nature for my high school, I did more of a comedy bit on there where I was making people laugh, and I have a voice message. Um, <laughs> I was I was always doing things of that nature, and everybody's like, "Oh, you know, you're you're just you're funny. You should be doing that type of stuff." So I, I kind of went with it and agreed with them. And uh, I think on YouTube, there's just so much of basic gameplay. I mean, if, if I to me, if you've seen one, you've seen them all. So how a person makes 5,000 videos and every single video, they're like, and I round this corner and I shoot this guy with the same gun I've used in the last 19 videos and he dies and that gets me my Blackbird. And when I turn on the Blackbird, I can see it. it, it to me, it's all just like, you know, un- unless <laughs> unless you can't visibly see what's going on, there's no reason to explain it that way. So I guess the commentary thing just wasn't, that appealing to me, so I wanted to do something that was a little different. And I, I did see people do comedy and things of that nature, but nothing, nothing that was more my style. So I'm like, you know, I'm just gonna try it. I'm gonna try being a little goofy. So, what got you more into live streaming now? Uh, time schedule, I guess, with having a kid, which you might be able to hear him playing with his little place in the background, but um, <laughs> just more of it's on my my time when I when I'm able to to play and stream and people can watch and I can just hit hit broadcast and it goes and I don't have to sit there and hope that it recorded and I don't get a capture failed when I end the recording and I don't have to worry about theater mode not capturing the game because it's all broadcasting live and it's just there's no editing process so I don't have to wait for render times and upload times and also, the uh, the main thing would be like once again going back to fan interaction. Like it's it's really neat having a chat box and like watching what people are saying while you're playing. And you know, you even even when trolls come in and they're like, "You're horrible," it's it's fun interacting with them and just you know going back at them and joking with them and giving them crap. And then watching the whole chat room tear them a new one, like defending you. <laughs> and uh, it's also great when there's hilarious moments or you get a you get a nice feed or a quad or something and the chat blows up. It's it's just awesome seeing people react like that and then getting to know people, making friends, uh, things like that. It's just, it's it's a great great uh, fun experience. That I suggest everybody at least at least tries or or tries to be a part of. I know a lot of a lot of the guys who go to my stream and play, they do for the purpose of interacting and you know making friends and it it, it is a cool experience. So I'm saying, what are some prized gaming possessions you have? That I have? Um. Prized gaming possession. I think I still have some original NES cartridges somewhere. I'm pretty sure I do. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I don't have my, uh. <laughs> my console. <laughs> uh, most of my good stuff that would be considered prized possession, like, I was one of the idiots who bought the Power Glove back in the day, and that thing was a piece of donkey crap. Uh, you know, I had the light gun for the NES and all that. And we used it as like a toy running around playing army and stuff like that. But uh, I don't know. Like, as far as current day, I don't think people really. I know like the the insane limited editions have all these you know toys and or I guess figurines, whatever you want to call them. Yeah. Uh, I I don't drop the extra money on them though. Whereas back in the day like it just came with it you know like if you expected a game to come with a poster you expected a game to come with a huge map and now it's all just kind of thrown in and they're like hey by the way give us another 20 bucks i think these days i don't i don't consider anything prize um but it'd probably have to be just some of the the 
cartridges I still have in boxes that I know I'll never be able to use anything with, but I have them just to have them. Like, I have my uh, Legend of Zelda. I have one of the, the gold cartridges because it was a limited edition. I, I still have that for whatever reason, and uh, yeah. All right, well, thank you, Sazen, for your time. Um, is there anything else you'd like to say to the viewers? Uh, not really. I just say keep watching Lucid's content, and you know he's he's gonna go a long way. No, he's he's uh, he's a nice guy, and he deserves he deserves your time. And he is growing, and he's just getting started. So cut him a little bit of slack, and uh, you know <laughs> it's all good. But no, <laughs> it, thanks uh, thanks for doing it, man. I appreciate it. I hope you guys liked the interview I had with Season 13. He's a really awesome guy. I was really happy to have him on this video series. And yeah, let me know in the comment section, letting me know um, what you guys think about this video series, whether or not I should continue it. And if I should, um, let me know who you guys want to hear an interview from. Like, I'll be happy to try my best to score an interview with someone. But please keep in mind that you should um, keep your suggestions pretty reasonable for the fact that someone like White Boy or x or Grizz, um, yeah, it would be really fucking hard to contact them. So I really want it to be possible to bring you at least one a week on Friday. I'll try my best as long as I can find a person to interview. And yeah, so let me know in the comment section who you would like me to interview and... Also, what kind of questions you guys would want me to ask anyone or a certain commentator? That would be pretty cool. But yeah, the first gameplay was me playing on jungle domination, doing some work. <laughs> and there was some search and destroy for you after that, which is also my gameplay. But yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys will give me some feedback. This has been the Lucid One, and thank you for your time, guys. Peace.